there are thousands of aircraft flying in the skies today. All aircraft follow a specific flight path, but if the flight path of two aircraft cross, a collision is likely. The Traffic Collision Avoidance System, or TCAS, prevents these mid-air collisions from happening. Hello, welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at the Traffic Collision Avoidance System and the TCAS indications. The TCAS is an airborne system, which works independently and does not depend on signals from ground stations. How does TCAS work? The TCAS uses a transponder installed on the aircraft. This transponder interacts with all active transponders on nearby aircraft. Based on the information received by the transponder, the TCAS builds a real-time 3D map of all the nearby aircraft. The system displays the information to the pilots on the navigation display, or ND. The system also uses the flight path information from nearby aircraft to compute closest point of approach, or CPA. The closest point of approach is the minimum distance two aircraft will reach if they continue on their current flight path. Based on the other aircraft's distance, or the time to the closest point of approach, the TCAS provides indications in the cockpit to prevent a mid-air collision. Let's look at the TCAS indications. TCAS indications on the ND. If the system detects that the other aircraft is not a collision threat, then it is shown as a hollow or a filled white diamond. This is called other intruder. This is called proximate intruder. These are aircraft that the system is monitoring and no actions are to be taken. If the system detects a potential collision threat, the indication is an amber circle. This is called a traffic advisory. The time to collision or time to closest point of approach is approximately 40 seconds. The system also triggers an oral alert. Traffic, traffic. Now the pilots have to monitor the traffic, but no corrective action is to be taken. If the system senses a real collision threat, the indication becomes a red square. This is called resolution advisory. Here, the approximate time to collision or time to closest point of approach is 25 seconds. The system gives oral commands to climb or to descend or to level off. The system also shows a green band on the vertical speed indication on the PFD, which will correspond to the oral commands. The pilot must take corrective action and maintain the vertical speed that is shown. Along with these symbols, the navigation display also gives some additional information. An arrow next to the symbol indicates whether the other aircraft is climbing or descending. The number above or below the symbol indicates whether the other aircraft is above or below in hundreds of feet. In case a collision is likely, Modern TCAS versions interact with other aircraft and generate complementary resolution advisories to ensure safe separation. The pilots must follow the resolution advisories even if it contradicts ATC instructions. When the aircraft is safe and a collision threat no longer exists, a clear of conflict oral message is generated. Now the pilot has to get back on the initially cleared flight path and inform ATC. That's all for my video on the TCAS. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please share and subscribe. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.